I've already shuffled and we'll be going through the present time. We'll take a look at how they see you, the person you're dealing with, how you see them, and then we'll talk about why it's happening. So Taurus, coming up for the present time, High Priestess and Two of Swords. So with the High Priestess showing up for you for June, it looks like you're going to have a lot of people interested in you. A lot of people will want your attention. They'll be trying to get your attention. So you could be feeling like a lot of people are throwing themselves at you with the High Priestess here. That's what happens. Um, yeah, High Priestess. It can mean that you're in a phase where you're going, where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. So this could be a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or your intellect. Also, it's going to be important for you to pay attention to your dreams now. Try to keep a dream diary or a journal. That will be a really good idea. So the side priestess is with the two of swords. So I'm picking up, you're going to be cutting out a lot of offers. Yeah, you won't be accepting just anyone. Even though you got a lot of people wanting to reach out to you. Because the Two of Swords, it means that things are going somewhat well. Whether it's friendship, romantic, business. But you might consider the depths of your commitment In a lot of your relationships, or like like I said, the people that are coming towards you, you consider the the depths of your commitment and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by these people. And if you are not, it could be time to bring things back in the balance. So this is going to require open communication on your part because nothing will change without effort. So it's leading me to believe that for the present time coming up in June, the High Priestess and the Two of Swords, like I said, you're going to have a lot of people interested in you. Um, they see you as... The High Priestess, they, the high priestess sits really pretty. They can come across as mysterious. They... They're wise, they're teachers, they're, they, can, they can appear to be quiet types, but a lot of people are drawn to the high priestess. They see you as very attractive. So I don't know if you got really pretty pictures online or if you're just a, a good looking person, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they say with this high priestess here, it's showing that people could literally be throwing themselves at you. So just keep in mind this the problem is is the problem is with that is that you're gonna attract both the good, the bad, and what does that movie say? The good, the bad, and the ugly. So you attract more than the more than both. You're gonna attract all types. So it's it's not always going to be easy to tell which is which. You have the power of femininity at your disposal at this time. And at first glance, it may seem great. At first glance. So just be careful. It looks like you're going to be smart about it because you got your swords. you got two swords in your hand and you're not putting them down anytime soon. So you're going to be cutting out, avoiding and blocking. You're going to use your intuition here with the High Priestess. High, pri high Priestess is really smart. So you'll be using your intuition and you'll be blocking out a lot of nonsense that's coming towards you. So this is good. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at how they see you. If you're dealing with someone, they see you as a Six of Cups. 
And they also see it as a nine of swords. Now the six of cups, it's about nostalgia. Looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. So it's important for you not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. Because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time, but if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So your person sees you as someone they're very familiar with. I don't know if this is a past person you're dealing with or someone from your past is trying to return, but they have happy memories with you. They feel really comfortable with you or this is how you see them. Because we're talking about how, for the most part, this is how they see you. I get the tags a little twisted. But we are talking about how they see you. So they see you as someone that they're really comfortable with. They see you as someone that they could have had a past life with before. That's just how comfortable the Six of Cups is. Um, they feel really connected to you. Very familiar. Like I said, it could be someone from your past. Someone coming, trying to come back. But this is how they see you. A lot of happy memories. And they see you as a nine of swords. They see you having some anxiety about this connection. Yeah. It's the nine of swords. Nine of swords. That's what it is. It's about guarding a kid's feelings of anxiety. You need to take a good look at whether or not any of this is under your own power or control. And try to lessen it or if things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If it's the case, if this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. Because there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger than it is or just different. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that's where the beauty really is. So, like I said, they see you as someone that they've known in a past life before. You're really, they feel really connected to you. They see you as, like I said, happy memories, familiar. And they also see you as having anxiety about them. Yeah. You see how this man, has his, he has his hood over his head and his hands over his eyes. And he's like, oh boy. He's lit about nine, three, six, nine candles. And he's trying to figure out, should he pick these swords up <laughs> and use them? <laughs> Or should he just stay where he is and just be stuck in anxiety? And let's see, the dog is looking like, oh boy. My person is not feeling too well. I hope you can see the picture. It's really cute how, cute how the dog is looking. <laughs> but anyway, they see you. Yeah, you got anxiety about this person. They could bring you nightmares, grief, anxiety. Maybe even depression. But they see you as someone who brought them happy memories. They see you as someone they would want to reconnect with. If you're not with this person already. But they see you as, whew, you're at a panic mode when it comes to them. So, let's take a look at how you see them. I got that right. You see them. Now you see them as this King of Cups, which is beautiful. And you also, you also see them as the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, you see them in a beautiful light. But why are you having so much anxiety about this person? Or they see you having anxiety. So anyway, the King of Cups... It speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy. 
It holds positive qualities, both masculine and feminine. If this is an actual person in your life, it's referring to a very loving and kind person. They'll usually have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when the King of Cups appears in your reading. Like I said, it's about kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life no matter what your situation is. So nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you when you receive this card in a reading. So you see them as very warm, friendly, tolerant. Yeah, and there's, you see them as offering a lot of love and compassion. That's what's in that cup. Because it's with the Ace of Pentacles, it's about new beginnings on several levels. And these are very positive new beginnings. You could be feeling upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future. Things will be going well. You could be starting something new very soon. It could be work or it could be personally. But either way, it's really good with the Ace of Pentacles. And this is the other way you see your person. Or this person coming towards you. So basically, you see them as wanting to offer you a yeah, warm, friendly, affectionate, compassion, kindness. They want to offer you a cup of love. They want to offer you a new beginning. They want to reconnect with you. They could want to offer you several new beginnings. This person really likes you. Really. Yeah. That's how you see them. Now, why it's happening? Why it's happening, it's due to the Eight of Cups and the Sun card. Now, the Eight of Cups is showing that you, you choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you. Whether it's a relationship, job, neighborhood, there could be some sadness involved. But this separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. If your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, or a living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue, or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who makes the choice. Often when one door closes, it has to do that before the next door in front of you can fully open. So why it's happening, one of the reasons, someone's walking away. They're leaving it behind. Now the other reason why it's happening, we got the sun card here. Sun card is about things going really well. Your finances, your finances, they're in great shape. Um, but this doesn't mean you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on the list for some of you, Taurus. But for a lot of you, it is. I know for me, it is. This is a good time to socialize, to meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, it's showing this, it's right around the corner. So, it's with the Sun card and Eight of Cups for why it's happening. Someone's abandoning this, they're moving on, they're withdrawing. But, bright and happy is here with the Sun card. You or your person add sunshine to their life. So, let's recap this reading so that we can get the complete picture, because I know it's kind of scattered. So basically, back to the present time, like I said, you're going to have a lot of people fighting for your attention, wanting your attention, they want to talk to you, they find you attractive, and you'll be blocking and cutting out a lot of these people. You're going to pick and choose. You're going to have that option. Because that's how fierce people are going to find you. And if this is not you, if you know this is not you, you might just want to take some really pretty pictures and put them online. You'd probably be surprised 
how many people want to get to know you right now because uh, the high priestess is really it's a mystical magical time for love but for a lot of you Taurus you're going to cut out a lot of it because you got the two of swords here and it looks like the person you're dealing with Someone could be trying to come back towards you. Well, somebody from your past, or you're dealing, or you could just be dealing with someone who's very, um, who feels very familiar to you or you to them. Um, they got a lot of happy memories with you. They're very comfortable with you, but they see that you got a lot of anxiety about this connection. A lot of anxiety. Yeah, you're stuck in your head about something. And it causes anxiety, nightmares, like I said, even depression about this person or connection. So, and you see them wanting to come in, offer the cup of love, and they want new beginnings with you. And if this isn't happening now or towards June, it could be somebody that's got, someone has you on their mind yeah this is what they're thinking so or it's the person that you're dealing with or it's someone from your past that could be trying to come back towards you in June and they want a new beginning with you they want to offer you the, the cup of love there with the king of cups but you're going to experience anxiety with, about this person and they see this. They see that you, you, you're stuck in your head. And it's causing you... It looks like it's causing you to be traumatized. Um, and why it's happening? It looks like they might decide to walk away. Because they see it's causing you a lot of stress. Or you could walk away from this. You could abandon this person trying to come back. Or it could be them just walking away, um, seeing how much of a problem it's causing you. They could also see that you have options as the High Priestess. But, like I said, it could be you. Mm, just refusing that cup. Refusing that cup of love they want to bring you in the new beginnings. But they like you this person really likes you like i said i don't know if it's someone trying to come back there's a sun card there you brought a lot of sunshine to their life yeah a lot of it with the six of cups and a lot of it with the sun card um, you add or you added sunshine to their life you were their bright and happy and they remember that they remember that about you but it looks like with all the stress and anxiety that you're experiencing because of this person, um, you choose you choose to cut it out with the Two of Swords. Or, this Eight of Cups could be them walking away realizing that it's just too much anxiety for you. But I'm picking up it's you because you've got the Two of Swords in your hand. So this could be one of your many options that you're going to cut out. But this person, they want to offer you a cup of love and new beginnings, but you're too stressed out about it. So you walk away or they do. So that's what I got for you, Taurus. So I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Taurus, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you're staying safe during these crazy times that we're experiencing and please be strong stay strong or get strong so i hope that you have a great day 
please come back and join me for the next Taurus reading, which is in about another four or five days. And once again, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that June is a beautiful month for you. And I hope to see you at the next reading. So have a great day.